what's up my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are going to watch this from you are super welcome yo it is that day that i have been waiting for in this place the party day so let's go we just have to get going guys yeah today is the party day the sun is on my face and i didn't apply sunscreen and i'm so late so i can't go back in but yeah so let's go i'll show you the proper outfit of the day when i reach at the venue guys so guys i am so determined because there is no way i can do this walking i'm all dressed up i'm on heels guys look at my shoes yeah but I am walking to the bus stop. You understand? And the sun is this side, so I don't know. Maybe the picture is not as clear. But yeah, let's keep going. I'm going to grab um, the bus. Um, then I'll drop out, then look for the venue. It is not far from here. But now I don't know how far. Yeah, we shall figure out things as we go yes guys of course i'm looking awkward like all dressed up and i'm walking <laughs> in high heels but um, the heels are comfortable so definitely i'll arrive at the bus stop yes yeah i think these guys look at me and they are like really <laughs> all this lady all dressed up she's on foot because as in the previous videos i already told you that at least most people here own a car a, a motorbike or a bicycle for short short distance uh, means of transport yeah so right now i'm even blocking them to pass as you can see <laughs> I blocked the whole way their roads are narrow like they are feeder roads or roads which are entering in residential houses the wind guys yeah so let's keep going there is a bus stop you see that tiny yellow post is written on bus stop so i'm going to cross yeah here this one goes to vakwa vakwa guys yes how are you I'm going to work on the last stop. Yeah, hmm? The last, yeah. So, guys, I'm here heading to work on the last stop, then I'll get out. But, yeah, this is how the public means of transport look like here in Mauritius. Yes, it's so nice. I asked the conductor of this bus, and uh, he was so helpful. Here is the stop, the last stop where you board connecting so i don't know even how to cross maybe i'm going to cross here then there i'm just gambling <laughs> i'm just crossing so let's go so this is the last stop this is Bakwa station and it is me to cross Typical, typical old buses look like that and the new ones look like that so where the party is I've seen the building is over there so no much hassle yeah, so let's cross we are crossing the road first see that I get the venue right yeah so let's go guys 
guys, I'm trying to look for the invitation card. The invitation card to see where the venue is. So here is the card, but maybe it is too tiny for you to read, but I'm going to see the whole where the venue is. Okay, right here. Hello. How and I got here at the right time before the party begins so let me show you the venue wow 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 so this is the wedding cake so guys i came like 30 minutes earlier i don't know whether they keep time or not but so far no one is here i am here alone but it has given me chance to show you their setup how they do their reception yeah so it is in a hole here wow let me show you the rest of the city on the other side Wow, this is how it looks. Wow, look at that beautiful mountain. Yeah. Happy ever after. This is to my friend Farahaz. All I wish you is the very best in your marriage together with your dear wife and the tip i can give you is still life or marriage is what you make it if you make it a happy place it will respond if you make it an ugly place it will still respond the same way yeah this outfit is not coming out nicely here yeah but yeah it is a long floral dress and this throw on to cover my shoulders yeah and to remain decent now that i have identified the venue i can happily move around the place without going very far as i wait for the function to begin let's go store here let me scan through and see what they have wow wow young adult english so if you are a reader of novels this is the place Every book is here. Yeah, I think they sell both English and French. Children section. Yeah. Children section. Yeah. As you can see, I'm just moving around like I don't intend to buy any stuff here. Guys, dinosaurs. Wow. So they also have upstairs where you can find stationery, school books, and all. Guys, let me step out and also move on the streets. Yeah? Yeah, so let me.
let's go. How are you? Do you have gold necklaces? Yeah. How much? Guys, I'm going to check if I can afford a necklace here. 15,800. Okay, 15,800. I have to first convert it to my currency. I'm from Uganda. Okay. Guys, I'm trying to convert. Wow. It is expensive. Thanks. It's 18 kama. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it is on a higher side. Okay. Thank you. Guys, it is over 1 million, so I can't buy. So, guys, gold here is expensive. Maybe because it is in the outskirts. Let's continue here walking this street. Uh, maybe I'll try again in Port Louis because this is Wakwa. And maybe uh, the market here could be less, so the price is higher. But uh, where the returns are higher maybe prices go low so i'll try in port louis i'll try to find a gold shop and ask how much yeah but do they even mine it or it is imported also that will tell the price yeah so this is uh, literally how the station looks like the bus station yeah. thing is also the tram uh, stations here so it is like a, an interchange or a connecting station if you come in the bus you can grab a tram from here here it is i want to try it one of these days so it has left me there it has gone so i think that tram connects with the bus with the bus says so it is easy to move around so yeah very very easy because uh, these are the buses if you jump out of the bus you can easily hop on the truck i am planning to <laughs> guys just know i am going to do all things i am planning to jump on a tram and it takes me to the city in maybe the following or the following video i don't know whatever will come first will come but yeah just know i am going to travel mauritius in public means of transport because that is what is readily affordable for me and i'm liking the bit that it is easy to use like it is straight the connections are easy so i'll definitely do that yeah and um, also give you the experience of like low budget if you want to come to Mauritius with no plans to use like the cabs or car rentals it is possible to use public means of transport and it moves you <laughs> the bus is passing and it moves you from one place to another yeah for instance the taxi i came in from the airport to wakwa i think he overcharged me because it was the first time you know uh, but uh, the public means of transport are so affordable i can say 1500 uganda shillings can move you from one place to another so affordable that is like zero point four dollars can move you from um, from three stages like from 
three bus stops one after another after another after another and you're getting out they will charge you about 30 rupees like now when i was coming from uh, my apartment to this party i paid 17 rupees those are cents like i can't even count them in dollars they are just cents cents yeah so it is so affordable the things that i'm finding expensive here is the food yeah the food uh they have told me from here from vakwa uh city or town to port louis it is about 50 rupees yeah so you see that it is not as much 50 rupees is how much dollars let me see hello how are you i'm okay let me calculate it for you guys it is less a dollar so you can imagine it is like one dollar almost so one dollar can take you from Bakwa to Port Louis so affordable guys I don't know whether I am stereotyping <laughs> this but most men here smoke and I have I was seated there in the station and I inhaled smoke I think I have even taken more smoke than someone who smoked I'm taking a wrong route I don't know I'm seeing here is a looks like a zip let me go I hope I am not taking the wrong route guys so let me just go and see where this <laughs> walk where will end i'm just touring but it's really look like the behind side of the town yeah so let's go i've seen the uh, sports betting if you want to win this is where you come guys <laughs> I don't know where it will end so let's continue going as we explore this town so guys as I can tell you <laughs> it is uh, the behind side of the of the buildings so yeah guys there are small carrots here this is a pet shop yeah now we are set i'll sit here happily ever after guys the guests have started to arrive yeah so it is uh, time to greet associate laugh a bit and enjoy the party the bride and the groom you look amazing we met yes. 10 years ago in china 2014 <laughs> and since then we have been friends yes nice to meet you you look She's amazing aisha. wow uh -huh. aisha nice to meet you you are a beautiful bride <laughs> i'm going guys um, i'm live so don't doubt that we are here <laughs> oh, guys. i'm sending the guys yes, <laughs> ah, yes okay yes. enjoy the moment you too okay thank and you enjoy the food i think this is the first time you will share this food yeah for us doing all of our weddings mm -hmm. 
traditional food yes i must enjoy no that. doubt you know enjoy the food. you trust me in china i wasn't so selective yeah you, <laughs> yeah wow. you, so you, you, you like to taste okay new food okay yes. thank you thank you yeah. all right yeah. and the cake tradition to use hands so we are here so guys we are now full all we are doing is just uh, chatting and uh, you know enjoying the function uh, the meal was so tasty i love the rice more i think it tasted like biryani what we call biryani in indian food like in Uganda, we call it biryani. It was so tasty. Uh, and some gravy, I don't get it, but the beef was well cooked, the chicken was well cooked, so it, it was so yummy. Yeah. So there are now, right now, the bride and groom are just taking the pictures. Yeah. That is it. Here. <laughs> How about the food? The, the food was amazing. Yeah. I am even still full. Guys, this is the groom. They really were shining. You did well. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Here we are. And I made it to Mauritius from Uganda <laughs> to attend his wedding. So it was such a beautiful moment for me. Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Get her. Guys, this cute girl came and told me that you are beautiful. You two are amazing. You're cute too. She's Sarah. She's Sarah. Sarah. Nice to meet you. She gave me a souvenir when I came. Thank you. Huh? I still remember. Thank you. 
pour qui fait les manger. C'est bon là. So guys, it is uh, another day and I realized that last evening at the party I didn't end the video. So let me end it like this. It was a great evening. I enjoyed the party. The reception. Maybe I'll give you my culture shocks because everything was strange for me as a, an African um, or as a Ugandan. We are not used to the kind of reception that I saw. But in its own way, it was beautiful put together. So I arrived as you have watched. If you have watched to this further end, you realize that I arrived and the hall was empty. And as the guests started arriving, even the entourage or the bride and groom also arrived, walked down the aisle and sat in their couch and started taking pictures. And for us here in Uganda, that is not how we do it. Everyone sits and then the bride and groom make a statement entrance like everyone is looking at them, they dance, and actually there was no music, there was no MC, so all those are strange for me because in Uganda you have to get a good MC, master of ceremonies, and um, you have to get a good DJ to mix for you the music, then you dance to it as you enter, as you, like, that was so strange for me because the function had no music. But what I loved is people arrive and they start chatting, stand as a family or as friends, talk, chat away as they take pictures. So when the bride and groom entered, they sat and the cameraman started taking videos and also pictures. Then my friend invited me. He's like, come, come, we take pictures. And we took pictures. And other family and friends also took their own turns to take pictures. Then I am there, the sister-in-law of my friend invited me, he's like, come. I'm like, okay, I come. She's like, yeah, we are serving. Then we went to the side where they had set the dining and we sat and everyone now started eating. Guys, the food was so tasty. I think that food is called biryani. It was both, there was a biryani chicken and biryani beef so we enjoyed and for us at uh, when it is time to eat we go to a buffet and we line up and we start eating all sorts of food that they have prepared but for here in this case um they um they serve you the first plate they bring it to you where you are seated then you are like, okay, is this it? Then before you know it, there are ushers moving out, moving around with uh, dishes, asking whether to refill, whether to refill. We refilled until we dropped. <laughs> so we ate. Then after eating, we leave the tables for others to now also come in and sit and eat. So what started as a small function before I knew it, the hall was full of invited guests so everyone ate to their feel as they take more pictures with the brides and that was it guys do you know there was even no bridal speech there was no any other speech like i think ugandans do we like to talk so much <laughs> like on every occasion there are speeches but on this party can you imagine even the groom didn't say anything to thank the people for turning up or anything like it was to come take pictures eat and leave so generally the party ended before it began for me because me i expected uh, there was there was to be like an mc then the whole process of the function flowing no even the cake was cut 
unannounced. They just stood and went to the cake and they cut it and pictures were taken. So later on, it was served. Guys, I can tell you the whole experience was just out of this world for me. It was so strange, but also lovable. Another thing that shocked me was it was also brief because guys here in Uganda or in Africa, the function can start at around 11. Of course, not forgetting the whole preps that happened before the real function. Then when it starts like at 11 or midday, do you know it can even <laughs> go on until evening? But here, here in Mauritius, when I attended this reception, um, it started at around... It started at around uh, 3, 4, and by 8, it was done. So that was really, really brief. But what also surprised me was that the bride and the groom and the whole family, all the host family, eat last. They eat food last. So if you prepare less food, my dear, it is you to go hungry. <laughs> Your guests will first eat. Unlike in Uganda, when uh, it is um, time to eat buffet, they first usher in like the um, bride and the whole entourage, like the whole bridal team, then followed by like high-end guests invited, VIP guests, then the rest will follow. And <laughs> that is also like a different kind of arrangement. Here, the host, the bride and groom, the family hosting the, the reception, it lasts. Then they also, what, uh, what I also noticed is that the ushers also later, after making sure everyone has eaten, they also sit and also serve themselves and eat. Um, then there was also a good thing, like they over prepare a lot. If it stays, they also have uh, disposable containers that they serve food that has remained for people to take away, take away back home. So when you reach home, you don't have to cook again. Yeah. So that was also a highlight for me. What else, guys? Yeah, it was um, an evening well spent. Yeah, I really, really was humbled to attend uh, and honor and to honor my friends invite i really had an experience and other than the reception i am having good time here uh, as i visit the beaches as i go to the city all those are amazing amazing experiences that i have got on this island in mauritius i hope i have given you like my expectations my culture shocks my comparison to how we do things here on the mainland in Africa and what the islanders or people who live on the island also enjoy. Of course, that is, um, that is not conclusive, but I am giving you the two in Mauritius and how we do it in Uganda. All right, guys, why can't I end my video here? Kindly give it a like. Tell me wh how you enjoy your own parties in your countries. Uh, tell me how you are loving these videos. Comment and share. Subscribe, guys. If you have stayed here long and you haven't subscribed, guys, kindly give me that love. Love is always for free. Yeah, and check out my other videos that I have had here and any other. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me end it like this. I'll definitely see you on my next one. Shalom, peace, goodbye, adios, ciao, ciao. Au revoir. Bye.